The Lost Child by Mulkraj Anand. The Lost Child is a beautifully written short story which traces the journey of a little boy and everything that catches his attention. It is the festival of spring. The boy was joyously letting his eyes and limbs wander and take it all in. It is an extravaganza of colors and people from different walks of life. The little boy eyes the toys sitting in stalls and shops and yearns to take one home. Despite knowing fully well his parents' admonition when it comes to such desires, he asks them if he could have a toy. But his wish is dismissed. His mother encourages him to drink in the scenery, the beauty of spring, the fields. The boy obliges, albeit sadly. But he is elated when he sees the view in front of him. Fields span out till his eyes can see and yellow flowers dot the landscape. He pursues butterflies and dragonflies and runs around to follow them and hold them in his palm. The boy rediscovers his childlike innocence and is delighted by everything nature has to offer. Now and again, his parents will call for him, making sure he doesn't wander too far away. When the parents decide to take rest and shelter under the banyan tree, the little boy, unsuspecting of this, runs off to the fair, thinking his parents were right behind him. The fair. Again, the boy is distracted by the little pleasures offered by community fairs. He yearns for his favorite burfi. He yearns for flowers and balloons. He yearns to watch the snake charmer's music and yearns to ride the roundabout. But throughout everything, he is acutely aware of his parents' disapproval so he doesn't even ask them. But when he finally caves for the roundabout and turns to ask his parent, he is shocked to see that they were nowhere near him. He desperately looks for them everywhere as an indifferent crowd of people go on with their lives enjoying the fun things that the fair had to offer. No one paid any heed to the lost little boy crying out for his parents. A stranger to the rescue. A stranger spots this little boy and inquires about the reason behind his tears. When the boy tries to explain his situation whilst uncontrollably crying, the stranger sympathizes and tries to make the boy feel better. He offers the little boy sweets, flowers, balloons, the roundabout, everything that the boy yearned for so deeply a while ago. But now, none of these things interested him. All he needed was his parents. Do you think the boy was reunited with his parents? An important theme that this chapter touches upon is the difference between need and want. What do you think is the difference between the two words? While one is having something you cannot do without, the other is to wish for something. But does that make wanting them bad? Much like needing something, like food or clothing, wanting something is part of human condition as well. It is natural to want a toy, some flowers, your favorite sweet, and it is okay to give in to wishes. But... Where do you draw the line?